Hi, welcome back. I'm Sudi Khan, Director of User Experience at Neuron. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about designing for the medical space. So, you know, this is a very broad term when we talk about the medical space. Obviously, there's so many different aspects uh, of design and, and, and ways that we can improve communication between doctors and consumers, uh, between practitioners and other practitioners, or even, you know, allowing consumers to gather their own information. Uh, but I'm going to talk a little bit about the industry and how things are changing and evolving. Uh, I would also suggest, because this information is so broad, that you watch the other videos in this series. For example, there's a lot of overlap uh, in designing for military because, again, these are very mission-critical applications. But if we look at how this system, how the whole industry is evolving, one of the things we see now is doctor to practitioner or doctor to, to patient communication. So whether that's through email or video, we're seeing this direct communication that we didn't have other than in person before. Um, we have remote learning, which is fantastic. So students around the world and people around the world can learn from others, you know, leaders in their field, for example. We have consumer onboarding. So, you know, the forms that used to be filled out in the doctor's office are now filled out online. And that has sort of some special uh, implications. I mean, if you think about that, there's really no one there to help you. So you have to really scrub those designs and make sure that they're very obvious, intuitive, provide contextual help, things like that. Um, and we have remote diagnostics. I, for example, sit on a board of a company, uh, board of advisors of a company called Opternative, and they've been covered in the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, TechCrunch. They actually do eye exams online. Now the prescriptions and the results, of course, are interpreted by a doctor, the prescriptions are given by a medical doctor, um, but in many cases, in fact, most cases, uh, for them, people can actually just take the eye exam online. So uh, as this field is so broad, I'm just gonna give a few examples, again, to get you thinking in the right direction. Um, I worked on a project a few years ago that was bringing technology to emerging markets that had not been there before. Uh, this was a paradigm shift in terms of the pricing of this piece of medical equipment. And one thing we learned is that you absolutely need lettering with your iconography. A lot of industrial design likes to be very clean. Uh, we've seen this uh, most recently with a, a CT machine we we're looking at and interviewing the technicians. They love the design, but the iconography was was vague without any uh, verbiage connected to it. So there was, there was no text labels for the icon. So I would say uh, in most cases, especially if you're dealing with a physical device in the medical space, military space, make sure that you have icons that are labeled. Most consumers only know a few icons, believe it or not, a handful by heart, right? We know things like the green checkbox is okay or the red X means to cancel or dismiss, uh, but it's just a very, very small set that we know are internationally understood. So as a general rule, point number one here, add text labels to your icons. Also, point number two, use international symbology. Don't use uh, iconography or even graphics uh, that are very localized, that, that are very, um, I would say, unless necessary, skeuomorphic. I would have things that are very clean. Study international symbology and you'll see what I mean. Um, those sort of universal, and they're typically, you know, Bauhaus style, very thin, rectilinear, very clean designs. Um, those are internationally understood. So another thing to, to think about, and this is a really interesting one, is who's reading the information or interpreting the results? I got a blood panel back recently, and looking at it, it was the same information that everyone would see, the specialist, my general practitioner, my doctor, and myself. So we're all looking at the same information, but shouldn't that be different? Maybe, you know, it should at least be at three different levels or, you know, the layers of information should be kind of consumer, prosumer, and professional. I was looking at essentially what looked like a spreadsheet. And although there were some ranges that would tell me this is okay, that's okay, I had no idea what some of these things really were about. It was a full blood panel workup and it was like, well, does that relate to my kidneys? Does that relate to, to what? And so I think we need to think about that, right? We need to take these opportunities to communicate specifically to our target market. Also think about the context of use. A few years ago, I was working for a, a Fortune 500 company based out of Germany on a medical device. And, you know, unfortunately this, this device, a very good device, uh, is designed for people who are kind of in their last couple of years. They're not in the hospital, they're not in hospice, but um, they, they have to report on their own condition on a daily basis. And the other designers who are working on this were really not considering 
these users, I mean, these people averaged over, over 85 years of age and the kind of interfaces that, that the people designing were used to were not the interfaces that these folks were used to. Um, there are also considerations around tactile feedback, around being able to use touch screens, things like that. So um, you really have to consider very carefully in this case, uh, the context of use, who's using it, when are they using it, what are they familiar with, right? And then lastly, don't forget, there's a lot of privacy laws uh, in the United States around uh, uh, how records are kept by those who have accessed or edited uh, patient records. Um, so that's just touching the surface. Hopefully this and the other videos will get you thinking along the right direction for designing for medical. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.